Low-cost airlines were the most vocal anti-Brexit campaigners, and now we're seeing why. Ryanair has been forced to cut its forecast for full-year profit by 5%. What's more, investors are pleased. Considering how much sterling has fallen and how that really does uh, put pressure on their cost base, that doesn't seem too bad. In the five months since Britain's Brexit vote, the share value of European airlines has fallen by almost a third. With terrorism fears also deterring travellers, low-cost carriers have been forced to slash fares and cut costs. Europe's number two low-cost carrier, EasyJet, had already cut its profit forecast. Any low-cost carriers working out of the UK, you only have to turn up to an airport and look at a bureau de change and see that you're getting less than a pound for every euro. You are very, very much expending a lot of money if you're only taking a one-hour flight over to Spain. Capacity in Europe is expected to keep growing by 5 or 6% a year, way faster than economic growth. That's why the sector is still attractive. Holiday airline Monarch was last week kept alive by a bailout from investors, and Lufthansa agreed to lease 40 planes from loss-making Air Berlin to keep them in the market. Air France, KLM and Lufthansa are also investing again in their low-cost arms, despite previous failed attempts. Ryanair, Europe's largest low-cost carrier, is clearly doing better than most. Its shares have only lost 14% since the Brexit vote. It's now planning to cut winter fares by up to 15% in an attempt to keep profits up by attracting more customers.